mirror mirror on the wall which is the best camera of them all well that mirror on the wall might just soon be the last mirror left because mirrorless cameras are giving dslr cameras a good run for their money or are they stick around to find out what the hype around mirrorless cameras is about as i explain the difference between a dslr and a mirrorless camera and then also the advantages of shooting mirrorless specifically for wildlife photography Yes, mirrorless cameras have been around for quite some time now, but recently we've been getting a lot of questions regarding the mirrorless system and whether it's worth trading in your DSLR for a mirrorless camera. Also, there's been a lot of new mirrorless cameras coming out and new firmware updates, etc. So it's worth making a video about mirrorless cameras. I have been lucky enough to be able to lend this Z6 from Nikon and I'm testing it out at Jackie's Lodges in Madikwe Game Reserve in the northwest province of South Africa. Keep an eye out for future videos where I'll be talking about what I love about the Z6. For now I'm talking about mirrorless cameras in general. So what is the difference between a DSLR and a mirrorless camera? In a DSLR light comes in through the lens, hits a mirror, and then it's reflected up into a penta prism, into the viewfinder and towards your eye. A little bit of light is also deflected towards an autofocus sensor in a DSLR camera. In a mirrorless camera on the other hand, light comes in through the lens, it has no mirror, so the light passes through the lens straight to the sensor, where the image is recorded as well as the autofocus calculation takes place. Why is this important? Well, there's quite a few advantages that result from having no mirror in a camera. And as we know, technology changes daily. But at the moment for me, these are five general advantages of shooting mirrorless in wildlife photography. Number one, the weight and the size of the camera. I've purposely left off the lens of this camera so you can see exactly how small this camera is and it's extremely light and compact. And that is because there's no mirror that has to fit into the camera body. So if you travel a lot, it's a great advantage. If you struggle to lift heavy gear, it's a great advantage. It is really compact and tiny and light. So that's a big advantage of shooting mirrorless. Number two, a real-time live preview. So with mirrorless, what you see is what you get. And what that means is you see exactly the photograph that you are about to take before you even press the shutter release button because your image is recording directly onto the sensor. So if you make any changes to your shutter speed, your aperture, even your ISO, you can see that on the photograph preview before you press the button. This to me is an amazing advantage, especially when you are learning photography, because you know exactly what the setting change that you are doing is going to do to your photograph. And that way you can learn much faster, especially when you want to shoot on manual mode, for example. I love seeing the shot and the quality and the exposure exactly what it will be like before I actually press the shutter button. So that to me is a great advantage of shooting mirrorless. Number three, more autofocus points. Because of the different autofocus system in a mirrorless camera, 90% of your frame is covered in autofocus points, unlike a DSLR where your focus points are mostly centered around the middle of the frame. That means that shots like this is much easier to get. There's no need to focus and recompose. You can put your subject right on the edge of your frame and focus using an actual focus point in a mirrorless camera. The fourth advantage is frame rate. Now this is a big generalization, especially when we start comparing it to the higher end DSLRs. But because of the more basic mechanics in a mirrorless camera, you're able to shoot at a higher frames per second. And that's a great advantage because in wildlife we always want to shoot as fast as possible. The fifth advantage is no blackouts between shots. So what does this mean? This means that when you're tracking a subject with a DSLR camera and you're shooting at a high frame rate, the mirror flips up and down the whole time, which means you don't always get to see the image, which is reflected into your eye by the mirror, because when the mirror flips up, the light hits the sensor and you have no preview or you have no view through the viewfinder of what you're shooting. So when you're tracking a subject and you're shooting at a high frame rate, you often lose the subject because there's blackouts as the mirror flips up and down. 
that's no problem in a mirrorless camera. So you can constantly follow your subject while you're looking through the electronic viewfinder and you can follow it through keeping your focus point on the subject. That is a great advantage in wildlife photography specifically and it's one of the things that I really love about mirrorless cameras. Those are my five advantages of shooting mirrorless for wildlife photography. There are plenty more and I'd love to hear your favorites, so please leave them in the comments below. As with anything, there are disadvantages as well, and it's good to be aware of the disadvantages when you shoot mirrorless. Firstly, battery life. The battery just doesn't last as long for as many shots in a mirrorless camera as it does in a DSLR at the moment. I'm sure it'll change, but at the moment you get much fewer shots than you do from a DSLR. Secondly, the electronic viewfinder. Some people really are irritated by the lag in the electronic viewfinder because it's you're shooting on live view basically and that means that there's still for now a little bit of a lag on some mirrorless cameras. It takes some getting used to and it's quite easy to get used to in my opinion but it is something to keep in mind. Then a debatable point is the autofocus. It used to be that mirrorless cameras had a slower autofocus when it comes to tracking moving subjects. That is drastically changing with each upgrade and with each firmware update. So Test out the camera that you want to buy, the mirrorless camera. See if it can track as quickly as you want it to track for the subjects that you want to track um, in wildlife photography. That's the best way to know if it's fast enough for your needs. And then lastly, lenses. Unfortunately, at the moment, there's not such a wide range of dedicated lenses for mirrorless camera systems, but that is constantly changing. Luckily, in this camera specifically, you can buy an adapter, FTZ adapter, and you can put most of the lenses that you can use on DSR cameras on the mirrorless bodies. You can google it, there's a whole list of compatible and non-compatible lenses um, with the FTZ adapter, but I can almost assure you that the lenses that you're shooting with at the moment on your DSLR will definitely be able to be used on this mirrorless camera. That is mirrorless in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next videos. Until then, bye bye.